So yeah, Sprocket released. Although it was delayed, the community has finally been able to get their grubby hands on this game. As promised, you can do absolutely everything, and as expected, people have. These absolute chads have completely thrown all known laws of tankery out the window. They've told the tank history community to go fuck themselves, they've kindly asked common sense to shove it up its ass, and they've stuck a big ol' middle finger to the laws of physics. Now, as much as I would love to build one of these monstrosities of my own, I mean, I'm already going to hell for even witnessing some of these, today's video has a different focus. Essentially, I need to beat a level within this game, and, well, I'll just let me explain. Uh, I'm a little bit late to this, uh, I recognize the game came out as of recording three days ago, which in the YouTube world is late, let's be honest. A lot of people have already made videos on this game, but I haven't made a video on this game, and that's what really matters. I wish I could tell you guys that I would be recording here my first impressions of the game. Uh, I wish I could say that this is the first time I've booted up the game, the first time I'm playing it, you guys are gonna get my, my first take, first reactions, wow. Uh, but... Yeah, I've been playing this game for the past three days, give or take, uh, and I've designed a lot of tanks already myself, but what is important about today's video is that today we need to conquer a specific scenario within this game that has been the bane of my existence for the entirety that I've played it. So it's, it's like I said in my, uh, in my original video on this, on this game that there are scenarios. It's a totally accurate battle simulator type deal where you go up against a specific uh, enemy tank line formation and then you have to develop a tank that is capable of overcoming that challenge, so to speak. And um, that's what I need to do today for this mission here called No Tanks Land. And I'll show you why, I'll show you why this mission has been so fucking hard for me to complete. As the name of the scenario might imply, this takes place during World War I. Our objective is very simply to cross no man's land and destroy some artillery emplacements on the other side. Along the way we'll encounter a little bit of resistance, but the main challenge to this mission is building a tank that can cross trenches. Now this is all well and good if we were able to build any tank we wanted, but since this is World War I, we have some limitations. First of all, our engine can be no larger than six cylinders. We're not allowed to have power traverse on our turret. Our tank can only be but so large as we experience a multiplier times three to the internal volume of our tank. Our armor can only be 30 millimeters max at any given point. And of course, we have to stay under a certain weight. All of these restrictions combined in the inherent difficulty of this mission make for a very, very interesting challenge. Now, I've tried to beat this mission before and come up with quite a few tank designs, none of which ever really panned out. So the challenge for us today is to create a new tank. We need to make a new tank that is good enough at crossing these uh, these trenches. So I think we, we have to be a light tank, obviously. I think we go for something possibly T26 inspired instead, maybe some kind of Vickers six ton-esque. I like the idea of having an offset turret. Obviously offset to the left side, um, because it has to be, you know, it has to be fast, it has to be mobile, it has to stay light so it doesn't sink into the mud, but also it has to kind of have thicker tracks so that it can work in the mud. So I reckon a Polish TP, twin turreted design, because we, we can technically do a twin turret and I will show you how, and then make it thick enough for the mud. So I think step one is to make a T26. And uh, I'm gonna pull up a reference image, I'm gonna kinda speed up the footage here, and uh, I'm gonna make a T26 real quick.
All right, I think that is a pretty faithful recreation of a 7TP, a uh, Polish tank. I think I got the idea down pretty, pretty pat. Once I had my little Polish tank up and running, I took it for the first test drive and immediately noticed quite a few flaws. This map is obviously filled with mud, and tanks really like to slide around. Even for a tank as small and light as the TP that I just constructed, controlling it was a nightmare. It does not have any torque at all. Now this problem isn't unique to me. This is something that was a known issue throughout the game at this early stage. I mean, keep in mind I'm playing this like four days after it came out. Uh, there were a lot of bugs with suspension and traction. As of recording this voiceover, all of those problems have been pretty much fixed. So for those of you looking at this thinking that this is going to be a huge issue, just know that it isn't like this anymore. However, that doesn't change the fact that I had to deal with it. So I was taking my little tank on test runs and anytime I encountered problems, went back to the drawing board and made changes as I saw fit. I experienced a myriad of problems. My gun wasn't accurate, my reload speed was shit, my tank was sliding around, it didn't have enough power, the armor was garbage. Oh, we died. Okay. The engine was unreliable. Pretty much every problem under the sun you could face, my little Polish pride and joy faced. I was doing this for give or take three or four hours. I failed many, many times. Turn, 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 turn. I am holding D as fast as I can. Let's go. No, come on. We need another plan. Okay. No, no, come on. Come on. Oh, oh fuck. No. That actually wasn't that bad, though. No. Oh, man. And by the end of it all, I had made quite a few changes to my little TP, but then I looked at the clock and realized I had been doing this for four plus hours and decided to call it a night. Oh, it's 1.30 in the morning. I gotta go to fucking sleep. We'll continue this in the morning or tomorrow. Let's go. And the following day, I was indeed back at it again. This time, however, I had a more solid plan. I was going to significantly increase my sprocket and road wheel size, make the tank longer, and mess with the suspension a bit more to ensure my tank wouldn't feel like it was on a perpetual slip and slide. Unfortunately for me, however, my most recent changes the night before hadn't saved, so I was reset to pretty much my original 7TP design. Hooray! But with a good night's sleep under my belt, I didn't let this bother me. So I gave myself a quick refresher on my tank's performance fully stock and made some changes as I saw fit. I also decided to actually properly balance my audio. I think obviously at this point we have heavily derived from what made a 7TP, but uh, I don't think this matters anymore. Okay, let's take her for a spin. With these newest additions, I was pretty confident my little boy would be able to cross the trenches. But of course, crossing the trenches isn't the only thing it has to do. All right, men, do you want to live forever? Now is your chance. We ride at dawn. It's definitely probably like eight in the morning at this point. I don't know if that's dawn, but we're moving. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. Full charge. As I once again found myself in the heat of battle, I was once again realizing how shit my gun was. The short and inaccurate barrel combined with a 10 second reload made for a very frustrating experience. So I just made another beeline for the trenches. This is it, the moment of truth. Across the trenches, oh god, that artillery actually actually did a lot of damage to us. Come on. Oh, no, come on. No, we were so close. With another failure under my belt, I had to reevaluate my design. One of the first things that caught my attention was the armor, or lack thereof. It's currently 20 millimeters thick, so effective thickness is not terrible. We can make that a good 30 millimeters. I think if we, we add another 10 there. Now, at range, that's gonna be even better because obviously range. Yeah, that should, that actually is fine because we can keep this relatively light. We can bump this up to 20, I think. I and mean, we're not adding too much weight. This is still a 10 ton tank. This this thing, this thing could still participate in Tank Athlon and it would be totally okay. I don't know what the rules are. I, don't, I haven't read it. I haven't read it yet at all, so I don't know. Turret armor, 10 millimeters. That's pretty crap, not gonna lie. Uh, so I think we can do, I think 30 millimeters is more than enough. Or is it? Should we do 40? Ooh, nice. 
Nice, 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 nice. Get our nices in the chat. I think we could probably benefit from having a two-person turret. Right now we have a one-person turret back to like here maybe. So we get a fourth crewman. He is in the turret and we make him the gunner. Our, our reload has increased though quite a bit from 12 seconds to seven. I think that's pretty good. Shell, so we have something that's really cool is it actually models our gun breach as we uh, as we do this. So obviously this whole idea of shell length. So the longer your shell is, the length of your shell, uh, the casing, which means that this is where you're storing all your propellant and the propellant makes the shell fly. You're increasing the force of which your round comes out of your barrel. So the bigger your shell is, the more pen you'll get. However, if your shell is longer, that means that your ammunition is bigger, which means you need a bigger breach. So as I change the shell length, you can see that the game actually attempts to model the gun breach inside of our turret. And look, you can see that as I change the, sh the shell length, we can see that that is changing our traverse and our elevation and depression. This is red right now. It, what this means really is that our turret is very short, which means that if we try to aim downwards, the breach, remember, it's, it's, a two, it's two pieces. You have a barrel and the breach. So if the barrel's coming down, the breach has to go up. And if your turret is very short, that you the breach can't go up because it's gonna hit the ceiling. So no matter how much space you have down here for your barrel to go down, if your breach hits the ceiling, it doesn't matter. Your you can't have depression. You don't have good depression. So actually to solve this issue, we can make our turret a bit taller. But to stay accurate to the 7CP, I don't think we need to do that because Depression isn't terribly important in this scenario. With our new overhaul complete, I saved our new 7TP Trench V2 and set off. V2, I know, creative, but we're gonna do that. With all the armor and firepower, I was pretty confident I'd be able to deal with any threats the game could present. I did, however, forget to change anything involving my running gear, besides slapping this trench fin on the back. I'm sure you can guess how that will go. Nope, that's him for sure, yep. Beautiful hit! Beautiful hit! Let's move, man! Let's move! Come on, little 10-ton tank. You can cross this. Oh. oh, no. No! No, come on! Come on! Give me a boost! Give me a boost! Give me a boost! Come on! Push! Push! No, please! Not here! Fuck! God damn it. I was feeling pretty terrible about my efforts so far. Pretty much the only change I had made that worked was increasing my armor. So I once again found myself making small tweaks and just running it. Okay, all I've done is extended the hull quite a bit, as I'm sure you can probably notice. Um, I'm just gonna give this the old college try. Okay, this thing has become extremely unwieldy. I really didn't think that just extending the tank by like four or five inches would make this thing such a nightmare to fucking drive. What happened? Boom! I'm just too fucking good. Cross this trench. Oh no! What's the fucking point of those panels if they just break? No! Come on, dude! Ugh. Come on, baby. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Remounted sprocket. Fuck it. Oh my god, we just took a lot of hits at once, but... Fuck. God damn it, just fucking go straight, please. I, it's not, I feel like it's not much to ask. Oh my god, what a bounce. Wow, oh my... What? The shell landed back on top of my tank. Oh my god. Holy shit, what a fucking bounce. Looks like upgrading our armor was definitely a good idea. <laughs> come on. Please. Oh, come on. Oh, no. 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 I had become so frustrated with my failure, I decided to bring up one of the prefab designs in the game, designed by Hamish himself. I closely examined it to see how it actually performed, and to see what knowledge I could glean from its design. Holy crap, this thing's mobility. And it's actually, like, possible to control. What the fuck? How did he do it? Hamish, how the fuck did you... I'm baffled. Oh my 
God, the reload on this thing as well. What the fuck? Hamish, how did you do this? I'm gonna dissect this tank. I am baffled by this design. It's amazing. Alright, let's see if it passes the ultimate test. Oh. My fucking god. Oh. Not even Hamish's own design can do it. You fucking created an impossible level, Hamish. You... You absolutely beautiful man. Come on. Oh my fucking god. Hamish, how? How? How did he do it? How did he do it? How? What did he do? After dissecting the dev's trench caterpillar, I figured I had a decent understanding of what made it tick, and applied those lessons to my own design. I just want to know if you can fucking cross a trench. I just want to know if you can cross a trench. I don't care that your engine is about to overheat. We can fix that later. I just want to know. <gasps> you. You. Can you do it? Please. Oh. 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 Yes. 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 Oh my god. I did it. I did it. I crossed the trench and sprocket. No, don't turn. Turn, turn, turn. No. No, no, no. No. Oh. It's possible. It's possible! Oh my god! Go, 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 go! Despite the now proven trench crossing capabilities of my tank, as evident by my pathetic whisper screaming, this mission requires one's tank to perform a myriad of tasks, many of which I was still struggling with. Stop, 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 turn, 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 please, please, turn, please, just fucking turn. Yes, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, come on. No, stop, 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 stop. Turn, 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 turn. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes. The trench fin. Come on, come on. Yes. I can reliably cross trenches. Okay, stop. Turn, 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 turn. Freeze. Engage. Where are those sly dogs? I'm gonna fucking shoot every last one of them until their fucking assholes are bleeding. Okay? No! Come on. Stop. What are you doing? Cross the trench. Yes. Yes. You've been hit on the side. That's fine. Stop. Turn. Turn, you fucking bastard. Alright, fine. You're gonna go all the way around then if you wanna fucking play like that. Stop. Turn. Keep moving. This is such a dangerous idea. This is so dangerous. Ah, nope. Yeah, we can't get out. Ah! In order to bring my mobility up to snuff, I made some more tweaks to my engine performance and suspension. These did not help in any way. This is so painful. No, come on, bro. Are you actually, like, eating my ass right now? Are you fucking munching and crunching on my fucking dick, dude? Stop turning that way! Stop, 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 stop! You need to fucking face forward. Stop. Hold your fucking ground. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, what? What? No! No, 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 no! This isn't what I was promised! Okay, that's fine. Just reverse and try again. Oh. Come on. This is it. Yes. Humphrey. Oh my god. Humphrey. Oh, 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 oh. Humphrey. Oh my god. Humphrey. Yes. Okay. 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 Where is he? You don't have to press him. Fuck. Oh. What a fucking shot, Humphrey. Turn, 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 yes. I would actually prefer if you tried to cross. Fuck, not like I have much of a choice. This thing literally is unsteerable. Just cross here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Oh, God. Please, no, 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 no. Fuck, fuck. What do we do? Okay, 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 okay. Making progress. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no,
Humphrey, you can do it, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. No. Don't do this to me, Humphrey. No. 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 God damn it. I do not consider myself to be one who gets angry at video games very often. And I do not consider myself to be one who throws myself at a challenge. You know, if, 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 if something is impossible, then it's impossible and I just give up. That's the end of the story. But this is totally possible. I just have to do it. Very much out of the norm for me, I kept at it. I was going to beat this level, even if it killed me. Despite my suffering, I was still able to think decently clearly, and made probably the most significant change I had made to my tank yet. I want long torsion bars that are not very thick. Long, thin torsion bars. Does that change our handling? Does it make it any much better? Oh my god, this thing is actually fucking steerable. Look at him go! Look at my man! What? What? No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but fuck it. We got a quota. We gotta get, we gotta get through here before this fucking artillery crunches us up. No. No, no, no! Here, please. Just work. Yes! Okay, at a slight angle. Use the boards to our advantage. Not that steep of an angle. A slight angle. Easy. We actually win these! Let's fucking go. There you are. Fuck off. Eat my fucking dick. Yes. Come on. No, 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 no. Not that extreme. Yes! I had finally crossed both trench lines, and was now approaching the final field gun. This was by far the farthest I'd gotten in this mission, ever, and I clearly couldn't believe it. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Oh, fuck you! Uh oh. Bit more bullet drop than I thought. On a side note, there was a fly in my room during this entire recording, and he decided to make himself known at very inopportune times. Oh, the fly! He's here! No! I missed! Oh, I'm reloaded. Yes! I killed him. Come here, fly. Dickhead. He's gone. He's the one that got away. The fucking crew of that anti-tank gun did not get away. They'll never see their families again. Fuck their families. They're probably stupid. And also not cool. With the final AT gun down, and the fly not in my immediate line of sight, all I needed to do was make a beeline for the artillery I was supposed to destroy. As I drove farther, I could even see the artillery on the horizon. Okay, the artillery. We can shoot the artillery. Can you to... You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Tanks? Oh no, no! Okay, okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We win these. Oh no. How tough can they really be? Maybe you just got a bad hit. Oh, not that tough, it turns out. That was a good hit. I definitely pinned. Fly! He landed my keyboard hand, that asshole. I was putting up my best fight, but there were just too many of them. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this is... Oh, no! No! Oh, there's no point. Fucking matter. Oh. These tanks were going to be a serious threat. I wasn't going to be able to beat them on my own, which meant that getting myself across these trenches wasn't going to be enough anymore. I had to get my AI teammates across as well. Well, now that we know that at least, we can just have a little more, bit more of a pip in our step, shall we say. We finally have a fucking tank design that works though. That's the important part. I started spamming command buttons like I was playing Star Wars Empire at War, guiding my teammates every step to ensure they were with me to cross the trenches. As we crested the first hill, however, I was in for another surprise. You see, now that I'd gotten far enough to trigger the enemy tanks, 
The tanks would spawn immediately now and engage us from the very start. Oh wait, are those the tanks? Those are the tanks. Oh shit, this is just a full on tank engagement. Oh fuck, let's roll boys. Oh my god, yo, they're fucking, they're kicking ass. The AI is actually, oh my god. Let's go boys, let's go. This is it. This is the run. Oh my god. Oh, what a kill. Oh my god. Turn. Come in at an angle. No. Okay, don't follow me. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Oh no. 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 I knew I had an ace design. At this point, it was just a matter of getting the perfect run. Owie. I'm going to cry. Keep in mind that every time I failed, I had to restart the entire mission, which meant climbing that hill, fighting the tanks, taking out the AT guns, and ensuring my teammates survived, all before I could even think about crossing the trenches. And if I got stuck at the very first trench line, I had to do it all again. I had failed, again, and again, and again. At this point, I knew it couldn't be pure RNG. My design could be perfected. So, I went back to the drawing board once again, and this time, I got serious. With my design in its final form, I was ready once again to set off. This time, I was more determined than I had ever been so far. This time, I was gonna win. At this point, I had memorized the AT gun's locations and could dispose of them pretty much immediately. Yes. Good. Is that, what? That sly bastard. I think we have like actually mastered trench crossing. If if I can be so bold as to say. Holy shit. Fuck, this thing's got power! Yes! The torque! Sometimes I'm not very good at guesstimating these ranges. With the AT guns down, I now had to face off against the enemy armored counterattack alone. Right there. Was any. I put myself in a good position and just started killing them. Nice. Easy. Come on. 
Boom. With all the tanks dead, the finish line was in my sight. I only needed to push a little further. Let's cross two more trench lines. And then shoot their fucking artillery. And then we win. No. On what? On what? Tell me, please. Tell me. Tell me what I'm stuck on. Hamish, fucking DM me in Discord right fucking now. I know you're watching this. DM me in Discord and tell me what I'm stuck on. <gasps> Tell me that there's a fucking boss. There's a fucking boss. There's a fucking boss fight. Of course, there's a fucking boss fight. Of course, of course, of course, there's a boss fight. Why wouldn't there be? Why would there not be a boss fight? Jesus fucking Christ. I think it's the whole mounted design. We can just get behind him or next to him and shoot him in the side. And we still have fire support from our boys stuck in the trenches back home. Oh. Oh. I think my boy came in to save the day. He did! My homie! My homie back home! He did it! Oh my god! Holy fuck. Holy fuck. We just have to get up on top of these hills, we can shoot these artillery pieces, and we win. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes. No. Oh, please. Please reload. Reload, please. Oh, he's bad. Oh. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let me up. 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 Let me up this fucking slope, you fucking bitch. Yes. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes! Yes! I fucking did it! Oh my god. I have never wanted to scream at the top of my lungs so badly in my entire life than I do right now. But I'm not going to. Because it is so late at night, and I have probably already woken up my brother and sister. I f <laughs> Oh, I did it. Oh, I fucking did it. Oh my god, I've been working on this since like 4 p.m. today. I have never had a more satisfying victory in any game I have played recently than I did just now. My little 7TP baby boy. Oh, he did it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my baby boy. Oh, cut to future me. Cut to the voiceover. Fucking, I'm done, man. I'm fucking done. Cut to the voiceover. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Let me out. Let me out, please. And there you have it. My journey through beating the first level in Sprocket. Keep in mind, I beat this level when the game first came out before there were any patches to suspension or traction or tank handling. The level is much easier to beat now than it was when I did it. So I would like to hold this trophy over everyone else's head to say that I beat this level with a severe handicap. But of course, who's keeping track? For those of you who are curious, Sprocket actually does have a really convenient and intuitive system for sharing tank designs, so I'm actually going to leave a link in the comments below to both my original 7TP design and my final design that actually won me the level that you see at the end there. So I'll actually throw that down in the comments and description of this video for those of you who have Sprocket and would like to see if you can give my design your own bit of magic, see if you guys can improve upon it. And also, literally two days ago, as of recording this voiceover, I took another look at my 7TP and realized that it was not at all accurate to the real thing. 
So I took the time to actually go back and genuinely recreate a 7TP as best as I could. My original design was kind of a weird mix between the two turreted variant and the single turret variant, but this one I actually stuck with the single turret design, so I'll also leave that in the comments as well if you guys want to just take a look at my little replica 7TP that I built. If we end up hitting 1000 subscribers sometime soon, I'm pretty sure that unlocks community posts for me, and if it does, I will definitely be posting any designs that I make that you guys might find interesting as community posts, and I'll be giving the links out to you guys so you guys can download them and try them out for yourselves. I have a feeling I'm going to spend most of my time creating replica tanks, but anything original that I think you guys might find interesting, I'll be sure to give out as well. But that about does it for this video. This was my struggle in beating the first mission in Sprocket, and by god, was it satisfying in the end. And I hope you guys managed to find just as much joy out of this game as I have. So, as always, my name is Edith320. Thank you all for watching. God.